Would you like to spend half a billion pounds on illegal migrants? Well, I think you know exactly where this is going. Because this is a website called bidstats.uk. It basically just shows all of the government contracts which are up for bids at the moment. And one of them at the moment is for the Home Office Border Force disembarkation, as well as the Manston Reception Centre, which also processes migrants. But if we scroll down to this bit here, you can see just how much money they're asking for. Because it's a six-year contract, but they want £521 million. And you might be thinking to yourself, Hang on a second, clown. Surely we get something for the money. Like, we can't just spend £521 million and have absolutely nothing to show for it. Well, that's where I've got even more bad news. Because you can see that this is for canteen and catering, as well as security services and guard services. So they're feeding the random migrants, as well as giving them guard and security services, as well as health and housekeeping. Really is no expense spared when it comes to Sudanese Steve. Like, they got all of this. And I know it's a cliche point to make, but do our homeless receive any of these services? Like, our British homeless on the British streets. Do you think they receive canteen catering and security services? Honestly, they'd be happy to receive, like, even one of the things on that list. But it says that the Manston Reception... I should have probably read this at the beginning, to be fair. But it says that the Manston Reception Centre and disembarkation points require providers of operator and healthcare services, as well as managing staff and operations. So, once again, they're basically giving everything to the random people from random places, whilst giving us nothing in return. And it is quite interesting that Keir Starmer said he was going to stop the boats. Like, he said that that was pretty much his top priority. But you can see this here. It said included in the estimated cost was the optional extensions. So this is basically just where they're going to make the Manston site just a little bit bigger, just so they can squeeze in a few more migrants. And it says the estimated value of each optional extension, keyword optional, I'd rather them not be here, but it says that for the first extension is £90.5 million. So just in case there was anyone out there that thought Keir Starmer was going to stop the boats, the place where he's taking the migrants to, he's looking at a £90 million extension. That would be like you saying to the wife or the partner, let's say you've got a hobby in the shed. Let's say you like to work on cars. And you say, listen, wife. You call her wife. You say, listen, wife. I've decided I'm going to stop my hobby. But then the very next week, you decide to increase the size of your shed with a £90 million budget. I I, I think the wife would know. I think she'd know full well that you have no intention of downsizing that hobby. Just the case with Keir Starmer. He has absolutely no intention of stopping the migrants. And I will just add, usually I like to find my own stories and my own articles. Personally speaking, I think that's half the fun. I think just going on GB News every morning and just taking the top headline from them, it just feels so cheap. But today I actually saw this from another YouTuber called Liam T. And to his credit, I have not seen this anywhere else. Just this £521 million contract. Like I said, I have not seen it anywhere else. So I'll leave his channel in the pinned comment, because I really do appreciate this find. And if you enjoyed this video, then have a look at this one, where we visit some of the worst places in the world. Honestly, one or two of them you really wouldn't expect. And as always, thank you for becoming one of the 53,047 subscribers. This country has gone crazy.